when it comes to the difference between a concrete and a terracotta, um, what are some problems that we come across with these with these tiles, especially when it comes to say bedding and pointing? And what happens? What I find is, if you have a terracotta roof and it's got a, a full tile like this mm. at the peak on the yeah. ridge, then you don't have a problem and you don't need to put whip holes in. And the reason is that the the ridge covers the top of the tile, mm. but you've got all these ridges in there that catch the water and prevent the water from drifting upstream. So eventually the water will get out somehow right. and then it'll, it'll either get out there or get over the water course and run away. Okay. So when you look at a tile roof, it's got a, a full tile at the top just under mm. the ridge. You don't have to worry about this thing called whip holes. Okay. Whereas any other situation, if you've got a terracotta tile that's cut halfway and if, if the, it's got to be cut so that you can fit it on, on the roof, mm-hmm. yeah. then what happens is that this becomes similar to a concrete tile where okay. you've got no upstream protection. Right. And when you have no upstream protection, then the, the water in theory can, if it sits behind a bedding, can go behind a tile and cause a leak. So a terracotta tile when it's full yes. at the top of the ridge line, generally there's not going to be too many problems. Yes. Whereas a concrete tile, you're always potentially going to have problems, yeah. especially if there's no weed yeah. holes. Right. So that's the disadvantage of using a concrete tile as right. opposed to a terracotta tile. 